Hello guys, today I would like to show you how I achieved security off or also known like S off for HTC One M7 uh, on the H uh, boot 1.56. Okay, so next slide is I didn't uh, record the video because it took around uh, five or seven days to figure out how to achieve this out uh, to check on uh, XDA developers a lot of solutions tried them all and finally I found the one what works for me so now as the disclaimer I'm not responsible for any damage what you can cause to your devices following my video also I will put in the description the same uh, presentation so you can uh, you will have access to you can download it for free okay so steps to do uh, first unlock bootloader it will erase all user data so you will lose everything on the phone any your data but okay next flash custom recovery team win root the phone flash custom rom android revolution hd 131 is 0.6 it's the only one what worked for me use firewater hack to get s off and some miscellaneous uh, uh, steps what you can do if you need something else extra so to unlock bootloader you need to go by this link htcdev.com you need to create to sign up if you don't have uh, already account so you will receive the email, you will confirm your account, sign in, you will see unlock bootloader section, so you need to follow the steps there, they are really uh, helpful, so it, ex it explains everything and uh, on step 7 you will need to check your email and you will get unlock code.bin and also in the email you will see the link to continue so they will show you next uh, steps here you can see the picture it says here in the middle you can see unlock bootloader so on the website you need to proceed to this section okay next step it's a flash custom recovery team win okay first of all you need to install uh, download and install minimal adv in fast boot it's the best one, it's a sm small one and you will have only ADB in Facebook. Download Team Win recovery image for your phone and put it in the folder with ADB. By your phone I mean uh, you need to choose the right, because they have a lot of them, of uh, recovery images, you need to choose the right one for HTC One M7. And it does not uh, affect Sprint phones, HTC One Sprint. I uh, will explain it later. Okay, so you need you will need to turn on USB debugging on the phone. You go to settings about, press on build number five times, and you will activate the developer menu. And you will choose there enable Android USB debug. It's very important. So, flash custom recovery. You need to go to you need to launch the command line go to the adb folder where you installed me for example i i installed adb during the installation i chose the path like c drive slash adb that's it so it's much easier to get there so first the command will be adb space reboot base space bootloader and you will need to wait a little bit and your phone will reboot a bootloader and you will see on the, just below the title you will see Facebook. So you type on the computer in the command line Facebook flash recovery and your image what you downloaded. I mean uh, it should be team the team win uh, image. It will flash the recovery for your phone. Okay, the next step is to root the phone. So we need to download Super SU from the link above. Copy a super SU on your phone storage. Reboot the phone to TWRP recovery. 
So you can type ADB reboot recovery in command line and it should reboot the phone to the recovery. So you will see the graphic interface of the recovery and you can uh, choose uh, install zip, flash zip from uh, and you will see the menu and you will, it will follow you to your super SU where is it. So you need to choose it and flash it. After that you need to reboot uh, Android, turn on Wi-Fi, update Super SU. When you launch Super SU it will ask you to update. So once you will have Wi-Fi connected, press continue and it should update. Or you can update it via Google Play. In that case you will need to set up the account. Okay, also you can install root checker and when uh, once it installed you can uh, press check root it will show you if the phone is rooted or not this is it okay next step flash custom room this one has uh, in fact android revolution hd version 31.6 it's, uh, it's it's very cl close to the stock rom and it has less secure core so firewater will work on that one so you need to copy that zip file with from on the files to on the phone storage and start the phone to the recovery mode for example you can type in command line adb re reboot recovery and it will reboot so as before you install super SU, you choose install find your android revolution hd rom in the list hit on it flash rom reboot uh, I mean flash ROM you need to wait until it will uh, show you what now you can reboot the phone. So next step is uh, to use Firewater. Okay, make sure you use USB debugging is on and now follow the steps. Turn on Wi-Fi because Firewater need, need the Wi-Fi connected. Okay, and next step it says exploit Firewater. To do this you need to go on the internet, you will see instructions they are really clear so you can follow them also i will repeat here just in case and you can download the firewater following by this link okay so download firewater copy it to adb folder where you install adb in facebook use following commands in cmd in adb folder and now in that section we will see in blue it my notes you don't need to type them and in red this is what you will type in adb so adb reboot it's very important step developer says like that and uh, so you do adb reboot and you wait during that you type the next uh, command adb space wait dash for dash device space push space fire water space slash data slash local slash tmp so once your phone will in fact you can press enter and phone will when once the phone will be rebooted it will push fire water to the your phone when you type adb shell and in that time you start you can start to check what hap what is happening on your phone because during that command or next command uh, they pop up from super su will appear on the screen and in that time you need to press on grant so type su in a command line and probably in that moment you will see pop up from su press grant and uh, in that time you will see on the screen the prompt sign door should change to sign pound it's very important step because this sign pound means what now you got root access to the secure area okay and here you can see when I did this with my phone here I typed SU At that moment you will see the prompt on the screen you on the phone you press grant and super uh, that command of shell actually will get 
root access okay so now next command you can see on the top chmod space 755 space slash data slash local slash tmp slash firewater you will change permissions with the, this this command and next command actually you run firewater it, the command is slash data slash local slash tmp slash firewater okay as you can see here on the on the screenshot commands what i typed they are in yellow here you can see and below in white you can see the feedback what command line gave you next screen you will see like disclaimer from firewater and explanation what it will do and you will need to type yes exactly with the uh, y capital okay if you flash the right rom under root revolution as i mentioned before everything should pass fine and at the end you should wait around like two minutes maybe less or more and you will see at the end device now as off it means what you achieved what you wanted this is a screenshot of my phone real one what now now i'm recording from the video and you can see what here as of it says in the second or th third line as of before it was as on okay why you need this off because in that case you can uh, you you got the full control of your phone and you can flash any ruu from any carrier but be careful and choose wisely okay here i added some more information about like you can get following error trying to use firewater it says error kernel contains htc anti-firewater patch it means what current core has Is, is very secure let's say and firewater will not work so you need to flash the right kernel right drum with less secure kernel okay also you can see here how to return to 100 percent stock guide also below it's very useful in fact ruu collection for htc 1m7 and i just uh, checked recently and uh, that guy is updating and it has the best collection of ROMs. Okay, here are some commands what you can use that could be useful for you. For example, reboot to recovery, you need to type adb reboot recovery. Reboot to bootloader, you type adb reboot bootloader. How to install APK, for example, I mean the Android package, any. Let's say even root checker you can install manually. Just type in the command line adb install root checker, for example. You can press usually when you it's when you use file names you can press tab button and it will use if you type for example r and after you type uh, press tab it will find your file in, in the current folder so using that method you can install easily any apk without using uh, google play so reboot in ruu mode you can type fastboot oem reboot reu but to type any fastboot commands you need to go to you need to reboot the phone to bootloader mode and next command you can flash any zip files also manually so to do this you need to reboot the bootloader as i said before and type fastboot flash zip and after you for example super .zip or something less like that also to flash any RUU, I mean from other carrier, n not that your, for example, if you have a T Mobile, wherever it is, and you want to flash ATT, let's say, uh, ROM, not even ROM, but RUU, it's uh, like original stock ROM, you need to change your cell ID or like SID in order to flash any RUU and here you can see comments what you can change your CID to to the next one it will say google 001 
it's the developer edition uh, scene so you need to type adb reboot bootloader next uh, fast boot ah, you need to wait it, it will reboot the phone to bootloader next you type fast boot oem read cid it will show you the current one when you type fast boot oem write cd cid and then g o o g l 001 it will change the current one for the new one next step you need to fast boot erase cache and after fast boot reboot after that you can see what your cd will be changed and at the end also there is a easy way to if you lose your imei for example you can use following commands to recover your imei <coughs> You can find it on a sticker on the back of the phone, under the battery usually. So you can use those commands. But remember guys, what to change IMEI, it's illegal, so you can do it only on your own risk, uh, understanding what you are doing. Okay, I'm not responsible for any problem what you can get changing your IMEI number that that's it guys so i will put additional information in the description please press on like if you like my video so i'll thank you